आई वी एम शून्य वन शो ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी बाय शील अदित्य मैन हु इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड देन रीनेम एट द एज ऑफ फोर्टीन ऑफकोर्स His number skills or numerical skills are challenged because there's Shunya, there's one, there's also two, three, four, five, six. Didn't get to that, but Shunya one, Sheila did here. New episodes out on the IVM podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcast from. All right. Please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under eighteen, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over eighty, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. On Cyrus Says, Punia and Jia were lovers. Oh no, that's not true at all. Punia and Jia, in fact, are comedians who work together. They're fantastic. We're going to learn all about them and their world. Punia and Jia, or P and J. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows. Here on Cyrus Says, I've just had it with people. Who, when you sit at a restaurant and order food, say they'll have nothing, and when your plate comes, starts start taking stuff from your plate. Why do we do that? Again, I think it's a very Indian thing. It only happens here. You say, "No, I'm not hungry, not feeling well." No, no, no. and then you put your hand in and take everything I'm eating. You slowly, slowly eat and warm half of my stuff, and I get nothing. So please, when you go out, order your own food or just sit quietly, but do not touch other people's food. This is India. There's not enough food for everyone. That's the way it is. Cyrus says. And that's what Cyrus says. By the way, this is Cyrus says, and I'm being interviewed by two young girls. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, for an old person's home, which they're building, where I will live for the rest of my life. Let me introduce you. Punia Arora is a Punjabi by nature, says the bio data, and South <laughs> Indian at heart. We'll come to that. Uh, Jiva Jia Sethi is a multi-talented artist who is an actor, stand-up comedian, improviser, and producer. And may I say, Jia has 17 pages of research on her. <laughs> yes. It took me. I started on Monday for this program. <laughs> But Punia, yours is only four lines. Yeah. And basically, you say you're Punjabi by nature and South Indian at heart. Please explain. Well, I am a Punjabi, but I was born and brought up in Bangalore. So. Speaking Kannada. Uh, yen beko nimge, yen hel beko. Tell me, I'm very good looking, and that all women Ila, like. Ila, shoe lies are better. Morning early, please. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> ah, punya, punya. A ah, beautiful thing about Indian women, they never lie to me. Super. Okay, they go. All right, Canada, ito. English hel lingga tar si ni. Oh ho, oh ho, oh, oh, sir, please. Who works? Or he extra charge de. Oh my God! Okay, stop it. You convince me. Uh, let us go back to Jia. We'll give you all equal play out. By the way, Jia is the best friend of our producer, Naveen. Apparently, yeah. A I am no one close now. Close relation, Punia. Yeah, you'll be edited. Left, right, and center. Thank you. And let me tell you. Uh, no, no, these two are actually my best friends. It's okay, Jia. It's not required. No, no, no. It's not a threesome. She's Stop a it. Stop it. No. It's hello, not hello. required. Hello. No, 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 no. Let's be very clear. No. Naveen and Jia have a special in italics relationship, which is very uh, pure, and you basically uh, spend evenings and nights together. Yes. But you're best friends, and yes. there's nothing more to it. Nothing more. Okay, fair enough. We'll deal with that a little later. But let's talk about you. The uh, you say you yourself have sent us this 17-page uh, dossier, <laughs> uh, which is more than Pakistan has in the last 10 years. <laughs> Multi-talented artist who's an actor, stand-up comedian, improviser, and producer. So let's go through it all. Multi-talented artist, okay. Actor at Jeff Goldberg Studio. Okay. I've done two plays. Okay, excellent. Stand-up comedian, yes. Improviser. Um, with the extras. Okay. See, I have to pretend like I know all this because. Exactors is Naveen. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. And a producer, producer of what? Stand-up comedy shows. Okay, all right. So you and then you also worked at Z Cine Awards. Yeah, I used to. Isn't that something you should never mention? I should. <laughs> I mean, really, what kind of comedian says that? Even people who work at Z, they never mention it. Uh, but you were an event manager. So just quickly to understand, we'll go through your lives quickly, both of you. Parallel lives, as Plutarch says. Uh, obviously, no one's interested in Plutarch. Um, <laughs> Plutarch. I mean, we have a lot to go through. So no, no Plutarch. Move not, on. Not. Um, <laughs> event manager. So that was before all this. Yes. So quickly, uh, Jia, if you can get into your life, what were you doing in Z as an event manager? I was uh, organizing Z Cine Awards and Z Marathi Awards big, yeah. and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So like for four years. Organizing. Yeah, I was so, hospitality and transport wow, manager. Wow, so you had to get Shahrukh Khan to sit in the chair yes. and all that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Make sure he comes to the show. Uh, six hours after the show begins. Yes. But <laughs> that is a- Rekha. Rekha six hours. Yeah. Who's the latest? The worst. Rekha. Rekha was worst. Yeah. And uh, she'll come after the show has started. And if you don't send her a Mercedes or above, hmm. I hope I can say these things. Please say it. Amazing. Mercedes and above means then she won't come oh, to the aeroplane. show. Aeroplane. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what's above be, a Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. It has to be S A. But don't they all do that? That they want the image. Uh, not so much, so that I'm not coming till you send me a Mercedes. They'll still come. They'll okay. still show up, right? Okay. She's the worst. 
Oh my God, poor Rekha. And I was a big fan of Rekha. I must say, personally, I love Rekha. Growing up in the 80s and all, Rekha was huge. The best looking woman I ever saw. She got but an now, award for every year. She got an award. They made up awards to give her. Yeah, but I, uh, the way it works, <laughs> the way it works. Don't you give the award after the person is seen there? I mean, you have to see the head and then say, "Oh, Sri Devi's come." Award. So they no so because no. unlike in the states, once they say they're coming, they still don't come. That's true. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, they make the awards only to people who are coming. My God! They don't give it to you. They, you have to give a. You were forced to become a comedian because see, see, <laughs> Punya, please understand. She was forced to become a comedian because of what she went through. Yes, and with all I these strange see. people. The trauma. And I, I remember whenever I've done an awards thing, the biggest problem is the, who is the guest coming on stage mm. because the guest has not arrived in the arena, so they don't give you the name till last minute, and they actually give it to you. And sometimes, as you're about to talk, they take it out and give and another name to so and so's come. It's like a it's like a twenty twenty match yes, for me. Punya is getting bored because she's not this getting any footage, dead. and no, she's no, very I'm, worried. I'm just thinking why Rekha is worth it. No, at the end of the day, when Rekha is worth it. Hannah, have you seen Umrah Jan? And yeah, I don't even put the volume on. <laughs> I like her that much. It's like Madonna. Well I done. loved Madonna, but I never heard her sing. I never. I watched. I have a penthouse collection of all uh, her pictures. I still have them. Aisha, if you're listening, uh, I don't know why I have them, but I have them. <laughs> then maybe I should tell you that Madonna attempted stand-up comedy, and you'd love her even there if, if you were heard, doing this. If you heard Papa don't preach, thing. the lyrics are com- <laughs> uh, pure comedy. Mm. Like a virgin for me, you die laughing. <laughs> Most people did. Wow. Nobody lost their virginity to like a virgin. I can tell you that. Punya, tell us about yourself. You've been left out here because Naveen is the best friend of Jia, so he's going to do what he can. Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am. No, Canada, my- please. <laughs> You can't get away with that. If you want to talk in Kannada, you have to talk Kannada from start to finish. No, Ka- I don't. Know. Canadian? <laughs> you talk in Canadian? No? Okay. All right, Punya. Now, Stop making words so we, up. So, Jia, we understood was actually, uh, you know, sort of, I won't say run of the mill, but like a normal job. Conventional job yeah, yeah. is a better word. Uh, working as an event manager with very strange people who overdo their makeup. And uh, some of them are very old but pretend to be young. So, it's a bit like what I do. Uh, but you, I just mm, sound familiar. But, but, exactly. <laughs> But you, the Punjabi who became South Indian, which is a very good uh, advertisement for India, I think. I wish everybody was sh- shaken I, up like that. Look, as a comedian, I do that so I can make fun of both, Aram se, and is nobody it? troubles me. No, grist your mill, as we say in <laughs> Sanskrit. But uh, I want to know the beginning, before you become a comedian. I actually did my BBM. Where were you? You were in Bangalore. Bangalore. Yeah. I did my BBM. Okay, now I'm 46. So BBM means... Bachelor of Business bacha, Management. Bachelor of Mami. Bachelor mm-hmm. of Business Management. Aaj ke zamane mein. Tab mein bacha, bacha aur mami yeah, there was no BBM when I was in, uh, in the 90s when I was in college, there was no BBM. There was arts, commerce, science. And if you didn't get into science, you were considered a para <laughs> and you were stuck. <laughs> commerce because your father was rich and arts because you're a para. So what That's did you do? Work. And what did you do? Arts. <laughs> Punya, do you have to ask that, Punya? Do you have to ask that? I didn't put it just so that? confirmation. You just wanted that final clang, you know, the crescendo of the great comedy. All right, done. Yeah, so I did my uh, you, Bachelor is, of Business Management. And uh, then I went on to uh, do a PG Diploma in Professional Photography at Light and Life Academy in Uti. And I am a professional photographer still. So this this um, is uh, Mithun's uh, school. It's not, but, but it's he does. School. Yeah, it's right next to Because Mithun's school is all over Uti. <laughs> all over Uti, yes. Yeah. It's right next to where this was shot and that was Hitler shot. Hitler was shot and Revenge in Two Birds. There's some great names in, 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 <laughs> I, in, in Mithun's later work. How sad because was, I thought he was a very fine actor, again, yeah. my generation. And Uti brings I've out the best parts. dance moves, if you've noticed. It was they shoot brilliant. it in six days and all, man. Yeah. And so then they get like It's so sh- cold, I don't think you want to spend any more time there. No, is it? I it's love very the cold. cold. You it's know, I went on Mount Titlis. Yes, that's the name of the mountain. Of course in it is. In a t-shirt. <laughs> In a t-shirt in Switzerland, in cold mountain, proper snow and all that. What a gift. Besides hey, this podcast, no one let's is talk going Let's talk about to me now. <laughs> Besides this podcast, no one knows about this. Nobody cares. No. Okay, but you have very interesting stuff uh, which yeah. you've written or somebody's written for you. No, and I'm also a visiting faculty there at Light and Life Academy in Uti. I've been teaching for six years now. Really? Yes. Are you a bit young to be a teacher? I am actually. I'm Most the, of my students uh, are older, older than, than me, yeah. But so, they're forced to call me ma'am. And you you call them auntie? I call them nothing. Well, it's a strange relationship. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. do you mean you call them nothing? What do you just go, you, you, you? Yes, I do actually. Okay, Jia's getting upset. I think she wants to get in on the action. No, no, this is great. Yeah, I'm, I... gonna, I'm gonna balance it out because we've got a little issue here. I'll tell you what the issue is. Mm. The issue is that Naveen is your best friend, he's the producer. So it looks like nepotism is being in play. So I have to make sure that poor uh, Punya, who's now kissing Naveen, <laughs> uh, you can't see it as an audio medium, but she's actually blowing kisses to Naveen, who's never experienced this in his life. Never. <laughs> and for some reason has no way to react. I don't think the women would send kisses to To Naveen. me, it's like when a hippopotamus is interested in mating with a peacock. You see, there's no Ooh, way we can take this What is what over here? Let's, uh, that's more important. I'll switch. The peacock is interested <laughs> in the hippopotamus. I, I apologize, Punya. You are no hippo. Uh, coming to me. 
Okay, let's go back to Jia. So, uh, how did the transition happen from uh, event manager? Probably pre- pretty uh, well-paying job, I would presume, because no, then uh, from the silence, I, it was maybe quite not. some time. Yeah, it was quite some time back. So then the recession happened. But there was no GST. No. And you didn't have to pay extra service tax? No. So you were good? Yeah. It was all black money, wasn't it? Tell the truth. I mean, yeah. Okay, good. I don't mind saying it. You got paid in soaps. <laughs> Who was the sponsor? <laughs> Who the sponsor? Supari! Lux. <laughs> they got some great sponsors. Which is the worst sponsor you ever heard of? For Z City Awards? Yeah. Some Rupa or something, I think. Rupa Banyan was a sponsor? Yeah, I think. I love it. I would have just seen it just for the sponsor. Lux was there a lot of Lux times. Lux was a lot yeah, of times, yeah. 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 But and good luck to everyone for attending it. <laughs> okay, the transition. So you went oh from... Oh, uh, Stop it. Calm down. <laughs> Abuse only in Canada, please. <laughs> I just ignore bad puns. Which must be a lot of the time. Yeah. Oh, oh my All the time. Just... I mean, you live with comedians, for God's mm. sake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So, the Stand transition. Up. Don't call me God. Uh, the transition, how did you go from cine event manager to comedian producer? I was a bum Google. for five years. She didn't work? Nothing. Chari, pay your bills? Average parents. Wow. Mm-hmm. Can we introduce them? What are the names? No, don't. Okay, done. So you did no work after being an event manager. Very competitive field. Yeah. Why? Because I got... Uh, my Drugs? No, no, no. My job went... A guy? Oh, yeah. Two maybe. guys? Let's a see. pizza? Sure. What? I, Tell me the story. I was also a preschool teacher. Oh, this is just one-up and shift. No, because she's teaching you how to teach. <laughs> but See, I, I don't appreciate this. At Head Start. I don't appreciate this. I can't appreciate At Head Start? Yeah. That's in town. In Kaff Parade? Yeah. Dude, I'm a town. I, I, I took my son there for one day. And expensive? I, I couldn't get parking, so I moved oh, to the one near our house. Yeah. They're very tough to park. Man. Yeah. It's and on also, the main road. Also, there's a lot of commotion and, you know, it's on the main road. What is wrong with South Bombay in the main roads? All the schools on the main roads. It just causes so much trouble. Why are you digressing to this? We don't have inside areas for schools. But we need to have inside areas. Every time a, a school ends, 4,000 people are, you know, made to wait for 20 minutes outside the school. Which school did you go to? Oh, don't ask. Campion? No, cathedral. Oh, cathedral? Yeah. Oh, one of those. Uh, poor parents. What rubbish. Yeah. We had only one driver. But I had to put my head down and You had only one driver. It, it was very embarrassing. <laughs> so I, put, I put my kids to, in BIS, but it turns out that they are as rich. So BIS. I don't know where else to go. Yeah. How, but, many, but but how many drivers do a, they have? We have a principal who's a visionary and the nicest guy I've ever met called Dr. Cyrus Fakil, same name as mine. He's the only principal I've met in my life across schools, colleges, across the world who doesn't play power games. He's just a really nice, straightforward guy. I was they all get this sort of fascist look about them and they talk to you with a little sense of authority and power, even if it's like, pass me the chai. It's done like, you know, Churchill here. I mean, I don't know why. Why are we talking about this? You two comedians, Punya has no idea. Because back in Bangalore, everybody's older than her. And they can't hear what she's saying. She's just scream. Now, listen to me. Benji. I don't know. What is Benji in Canada? I don't know. What is I don't want to say it. Please say I actually don't know how to say it. Uh, you 100% know. I know There's how. There's no way you've taken a rickshaw more than twice in Bangalore and not abused. Because they say in Bangalore, they say son of a... Goat? Son of a what? What? A what? what? Rhyme it. We'll all get it if you rhyme it. We don't have to say it, then it's allowed. Oh, hostitute. Is a good hostitute. <laughs> You came up with a hostitude. You truly are a comedian. Forget photography. Comedy is the way to go. Where were we? You're not telling me the transition. Five years you sat at home doing Head Start. Correct. Teaching young kids. Yeah, yeah. And Irritating then, after some time. Mm, they make too much noise. They don't listen. And they stare blankly. I don't like children. They vomit a lot. They vomit and other things. And pee and shit anywhere. Oh, come on. And everywhere. And they're not as cute as puppies. So you they're can't, not. You, well, you, who, why do we have kids? And they say, oh, susu, susu. And then they do the susu. See, I'm glad I met you. At least someone who understands the kids are terrible. They're terrible. Why do we lie and say, oh, how cute, how cute? They're, They're not ugly. cute. Not even strange. our own kids are not cute. Oversized heads. That's the biggest problem. For me, it's like, a, you know, Return of the Jedi or something. I see these huge heads and small bodies. A bit like a couple of male actors in Bollywood. But it's wrong. It's wrong to be like that. Why did you become a comedian then? How? how? I thought I was funny. No, no, but how did... Tell, give me some idea of how you transitioned towards comedy from... I dated a comic once. Who, who's this? Some Raju Shivastav. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty much that only. He's cute. So inconsequential. He's right Apna now. Raju. Yes. <laughs> and then I so see you as a Srivastava. <laughs> Somehow I see that. Punya, do you see that? I can, oh, Mrs. Srivastava. I can see it. Dr. Mrs. Srivastava. We'll give a little bit Doctor. of more. Doctor. Uh-huh. So you dated a comic? Oh, she's uh-huh. just so upset. Yeah, tell us a story. This is a podcast. I need to keep talking. So I dated this comedian yeah. and... Uh, he, it didn't work out But why can't you tell me his name? Because Punya, it his didn't name? work out I think that's why but she so can't Also he's no longer in the country Nobody knows who he is He was that bad this room Yeah out. No more jokes Bangladesh for you no, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> what was his name? Ram Prasad Ram Prasad He sounds like a teacher Was he, he with does. you? No I have no idea 
Okay, so why the hesitation? Okay, we won't get into your love life. I mean, you know Fair exactly. Enough. So um, and so now I so I then basically in 2015 was like, you know what, f- this I'm gonna show everybody that I'm awesome. So much angst in the comedy world. I became a comedian because I couldn't get a job anywhere else. I thought that was the normal route. You know, you fail, 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 fail. The last place is your joker. Come here, joker. Tell jokes. That's it. That's what your dad says. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that joker is. Are you calling me your dad? Yeah. Jesus. Papa. <laughs> now please tell me who my, my wife is because I can't remember. Uh, Punya. Mummy. <laughs> yes. You're making uh, people can't see, but Punya, as uh, Jia talks, seems very competitive. What I get from her is she moves her head left to right like an animal in frenzies of sorts, and uh, is very uncomfortable with Jia's story because she thinks it's all lies. As far as no, I no, I so know true, her story. Yeah. Who's Ram Prasad? I, it's Ram Prasad. How do they meet? They actually, I don't know. Uh, how do they break up? I. On what issue? Punya, what kind of friend are you? I, what kind of teacher are you? What I'm are you the kind who's not willing to tell you all these things. All right, fair enough. Now let's get back to your life, please. Now you at least tell me how. Just tell us quickly how you transitioned. Because again, uh, in fact, your uh, career path seems very, uh, for me, you know, the formal one, the BBM and management in the background and taking a proper job and teaching. And although you had this hobby of uh, photography, it's not a hobby. Now it's not. But I'm no, saying, no, no. Even then, even it was then. never a hobby. So, like, how, I mean, you have enough on your plate. Why would you do comedy if you're doing photography? I'm still well? doing that as well. I like it, and I do comedy because I enjoy it. So you're a show off Pretty much okay. If you, <laughs> if you got, put it that way Then I have no other choice things. If you put it that so way I'll just, If you put it that way I can just go around and Say hi Punjab I only have comedy And I'm not even good at it So imagine how bad I feel She's got like five no, well, Actually I was assisting A photographer in Bombay Who was uh, funny Red Berman Who worked Red opposite Red Berman Yes Who worked opposite One, who's, sec, one uh, sec Let me look at her expression Now it's her turn Jia who's Red Berman Oh my god I know him very well He's oh, okay. a photographer Is he famous Yeah kind of I mean he shoots for magazines And things Does like that Does he do nudes I don't know well, Not of himself Yeah oh God no And his studio was opposite Palladium And I ended up going to the comedy store For the first time And watched live comedy When I was working there And I found it interesting And I thought at some point I should try it And I did And it worked out And I kept doing it And so that's about it Beautiful story How did you get into comedy? <laughs> I didn't have a choice There was no other jobs I just told you I did everything <laughs> Sales, marketing, PR, HR The works then I joined, but well, I didn't join, but it's a long story. I know MTV Bakra. Something like that, yeah. God, thank you. Yeah, I, mean, so I know good, MTV yeah, Bakra. I didn't stop. I didn't stop. It. You it making Bakra out of people was the best. But you have to tell MTV. You can still but do the people it. who used to do that are all gone. So now we, we have uh, only people running shows like Rodi, so I can't you know, reach out to them. Oh my god! I don't I don't think Please they'll take don't. me. Uh, we have to take a break and then come back. Naveen is just telling us to give more footage to Jia. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Okay, Jia, a little bit more to you. <laughs> Thanks. Over 47% of online users in India have experienced harassment at some point. So if it's two of us inside this recording studio, chances are pretty high that one of us has faced abuse at some point. How do we tackle this? What do we need to do better? Come, let's learn together. Join me on Akanksha Against Harassment at IVM Podcast every Thursday. Let's learn how to make online a safe place together all right back here punya jia and me three young girls the beginning of our quest for the rainbow the world at our feet so cute three comedians is it comedian so is it comedian it's comedian are you a feminist yeah yeah uh, are you for sure really alpha mother alpha wow, wife you look scared answering no, I, that question I, I think I'm, I'm, for sure for sure Wow, do ask me the that. Brocha family are weak males and strong females. So, it's been like that for years. Do you have a son? So that makes you a weak feminist. Weak males and strong females, I'm telling you. <laughs> so that what makes you a feminist? Uh, yeah, but I think I grew up uh, in the sort of uh, world where no one can see no the question bias being right now. Non egalitarianism. Uh, the man was uh, made to feel small being, being and little. Right now while talking, they would make fun of uh, my body parts as well. So I had no self esteem. Forget low self. <laughs> very painful growing up. Very painful. Still is, but that's hemorrhoids and that's age. <laughs> uh, you were saying. Okay, uh, Punya. Now we have to discuss this comedy thing. Yes. Right? Uh, you first. Sorry, Jia. And screw you, Naveen. Okay? <laughs> Naveen it's my Naveen, f- what show. is this, Naveen? Yeah, come on. It's like the BJP just putting people anywhere he wants. No, we'll fight back. Uh, Punya. So tell us now. You got into comedy. You said you just saw, saw this performance. No, I really enjoyed watching comedy for a long time, and uh, I figured that at some point I want to try it, but for fun. I never thought it would be a career. 
but uh, when i ended up trying it out i didn't open mic in bangalore what do you mean trying it out you must have, are you a funny person do you tell jokes all the time <laughs> you mean, have I'm that very, side to you i'm very talkative so in a group of people i'm always trying to entertain and say things and cyrus is, is that like good that enough? is yeah, not that good enough? I, i don't know <laughs> that's good enough yeah, yeah. like chopper chopper yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you said, let me use this natural energy that I have on stage, and maybe I'll, you know, come up with something. Yeah, and, and I did, and it so how did it go? Tell us that first. It actually went better. I, I've heard that for some. I'm where, some, where, what? Give the description. This was at this place called Urban Solace in Bangalore, which is the longest running open mic. Wow! And is it really? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Apparently oh. it is. And at that time when I tried it out, I, honestly, I had no. Uh, Idea that this was going to be a career at any point in time. And I'm sure you did the jokes that are safe in Bangalore, which is trying no, to drive from really. the airport to the uh, city. No, not really. That is the funniest no, joke really. ever. You know, so I used to do a lot of accents. Like I would imitate my so teachers in school. Yeah, so I used to imitate my teachers. Set it up and tell us, and oh, then do it. If you want me. To. Obviously, you just can't just do an accent. I of want to know who the person is. Okay, oh. so I used to imitate a lot of my teachers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, just, that's, that's like you know masturbation creatively. Honestly, I'm so talented. I'll just go. Wow. I, I had a, I had a teacher taught me mandarin for example well, yeah i can do that <laughs> sorry it's your it's your call <laughs> this was my chemistry teacher me? and i used to, um, i'll just see the name ram prasad you're not you're not putting them down by doing a sort of knuckle it's okay come on i love my name is elizabeth tanje and you're actually our chemistry teacher and yeah i am yes i'm really very good to guess i know it is very difficult to tell but uh, <laughs> what do jobs are as full marks for you All right, I uh, thought today we would be studying something. I think uh, this uh, how to talk in this podcast uh, apart from Cyrus. Yes, that is the topic of conversation. I think. Yeah, she is dominating our show. We have to stop her now. I, uh, I, I'm very enamored. With the myriad talents of accents. That's why you all said you are feminist. So uh, powerful females yes, dominating yes. should be wonderful. No, you must be austere. Femdom, femdom. That's my thing. All right, yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> so this, so yeah, so we do a little. Super. Next, give us one more. One more. Uh, Can you do any males? Okay, I'll rephrase that. Can you do the accent for any males? <laughs> oh my god, she's got this one sassy woman that she does. Okay, do the sassy woman. Well. You, you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. Jia wants to hear it. Okay. That's my favorite. Okay, so the sassy woman apparently, I mean, generic sassy. They have a backup. Uh, the background story is that every time you go through a breakup, the sassy woman comes and gives you advice. Huh? So if you're sad and upset, and you have that friend who's telling you nice things like, you know, you'll be fine and this and that, but actually this friend is supposed to be that. Mm-hmm, girlfriend, you won't see. He gonna come running back to you with a terrible weirdness. Like he gonna break ready. Oh my god, girlfriend, he gonna see you. He gonna be in his pants right there. Mm-hmm. Ooh. African American I thought. Very nice. Very nice. Kind, of, kind of I think. So oh, it's just the sass that. So, so accents is your thing, is it? This impression stuff? Huh? Yeah. Do, do you do people we know like famous people or just generic people? No, no, just generic. You stayed off the famous people part yes, for now because I they'll come did. after you. It's got to be so touchy. I don't make fun of myself to get upset. Come on. I, uh, according to Jia's story, I could take 3 hours and then I would be like her so that. 3 hours. Can yeah. you do? Can you do Rekha's accent? You didn't get can, that. Can, I got it. Can, can you get? <laughs> can you do him or Malini's accent? No. Okay. Back to you, Jia. Now tell us I about. I don't do accent. No, I want to know about your foray into. Uh, you got in. What was your first gig? How did you? You know, did you write your own material? Tell us all. Yes, that. I did. I tried. Yeah. So, so what I've, was the first one? So no. So I uh, searched for stand-up comedy writing courses or something. Really? And, yeah, yeah. And EIC was doing one. Generation of online people. Everything is online. Everything is online. And, then, and EIC was doing one at NCB. What is EIC? East India Comedy. Oh EIC, sort of you're talking like the Tatas, which are apparently you know a lot of. But then that's how they're all called. I mean, it's A I B E I C S N G shit stop. S N G is Procter and Gamble, isn't it? Correct. No, that's P N G. You idiot brocha. Do you give me an accent, Malayali lady. Say What? something. I... She's not even paying attention to the podcast. <laughs> Once her bits are over, she just turns off. What a narcissist. Mm. 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 Amy, sorry, it is a force of habit. It's not good enough. The same moment as I start talking, so you switch off. Yeah. <laughs> Whole body switch off, by the way. To enjoy the moment, that is the best way. Look at him; he's doing same thing. Uh, she's talking about the sound engineer who's in coma. Oh, we're sitting back side. He's in of coma because this is second show for him. We're sitting yeah. back side of Cyrus. Yes, and enjoying the back view. Side. Mm. Sorry, she's just cutting us all the time. All the time. Very competitive. Very. We'll take her out of the show. Let's. You never heard her. That's Go the law. <laughs> uh. No, so um, I did the course, and then I just got in. I was doing stand up. No, so, let me understand. So you went online yes. and you sort of looked at stuff. Correct. And you read stuff like monologues and No, no, bits. no. At NCPA, huh. they were doing a course. Oh, it was a physical course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have so to go like, there. Uh, what's his name, Baldy? 
Sorapant. Sorapant uh, and all were teaching you. Yes, oh. Saurabh, Kunal, and all of them. Oh, so sorry. the first day was. Did, did they touch? Because mm. I heard Indian comedians touch a lot. They well, touch. They are the nicer ones. I worked with A.K. Hangal, who's one of the older generation, and there's a little touching. There's a little touching. Men can't keep their hands to themselves. I haven't touched you. You're trying. And I'm 100% heterosexual, <laughs> Naveen. 100%. You can ask Janam. Are you? Oh. Five minutes back, you were hitting on Naveen. Come on! You were jealous that he was getting all the attention <laughs> from really? like my watch. Please don't ask me to prove myself because testosterone levels are down. Uh, go on. Uh, Actually, they're up, but that's chemical. Huh? Go on. <laughs> Why are you discussing this with me? Discuss your life. Yeah. So, no, I, I, so what did they teach you? They taught me to get on stage basically. and to write your own stuff. Yes. Okay, and then so it's like a workshop, and at the end, you sort of perform. Yes. And in front of people or just yes. the 10 of them? At NCPA, someone was chosen. Like the audience came. Like we, a proper 10 audience. people were chosen huh. out of the whole batch. And yeah. then they got to perform in front of a proper so our, paid audience. Let's understand, out of a batch of 11, 10 people were chosen. Mm. And then you performed, oh, a paid audience. Yes. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. So they have no idea what they're coming for also, no. in a sense. It was sort of an open no, mic. Yeah, yeah. But what I mean is uh, not established names, etc. Et so how was that? How did no, that go? But EIC's, uh, it was their... Open mic, right? So, okay. it, they, so it's they part were, of their whole show. Yeah. I get it. No, what did you do? Can do you remember? Like uh, uh, our friend here, Punya, has just done seventeen accents. We had to stop <laughs> her. We had to call security because she wouldn't <laughs> stop. But what did? What do you remember? Anything from that? I um, I still do one of the jokes that I used to. Please. But the thing is, the thing is, it's about men at the gym. That's fine. Set it up. Oh, it's, I think it's one of those you have to see it. You, you have can to see it, see but it. podcast people might be a little lost. But <laughs> you mean it's a very physical joke? Yeah, okay. yeah. It's just you have to take off your clothes and that kind of thing. And okay, fair enough. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize. Kepia, Dan, Dan, DJ, please. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we cannot uh, perform this uh, under. Actually, overage. you can. I'll instruct you. Oh, God. You can totally do it. So one place where I get very aggressive is in the gym, and I get very sad. That is the face. Do you remember the face? The face. Yeah. That's it. That <laughs> is what. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you're doing do it, it, do it, do it, do no, it. Hers is doing so it. good. Hers no, is so no, good. Okay, uh, you think anything will come out of audio wise? Let's try. You go do, do, together. Try, try. Uh, you I'll, make your she, faces, I'll make mine, yeah, okay? Is, and we'll yeah, see okay. whose is better. Okay. So uh, she is getting up, sir. About picking up the weights, okay? Okay, now you don't pick up weights like that. She's getting up. You don't want to bend wrists. Do it again. That's funnier. You do what? This is Naveen at the gym. What are you doing? Hello, dumbbell. Hello, dumbbell. Did you? That's not. Okay, so ready? Okay, go on, go on. You make your faces, I'll uh, make mine. I'll, I'll Look at Naveen and do it. Let him also do it. He's Punya, you also join in. Gym, you also join in. Folks, okay, sorry, this yeah. is more visual than audio, but okay, we're but trying it anyway. You have to look there. You have to look at Naveen and do it. Okay, she's asking don't me to look, look, look away from her. But how do I know what I'm doing? But you know what you do at okay, the gym. So you'll your instruct. faces. Okay, done, done. No, no. You are picking up the weights and how you make faces. But you'll instruct each thing, no? This is it. This is the instruction. What kind of gag is this? <laughs> She's become the world's most famous comedian with this kind of instructions. You need to bring Bakra back. <laughs> so that's all you know what you do in the gym. Go on. Who the hell? This is okay. Call up that East India company and get your money back <laughs> because they've ripped us off those buggers. Guy has no hair. Never trust a guy with no hair. Huh? Um. Yeah. <laughs> so with our bent wrists, we pick up the bar, and, and then, then you pick it up. Come on, okay, one, two, thing, three. Vaguely that you. Do. <laughs> so we are doing. What are we doing? Faces. <laughs> oh, faces. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing shrugs of some sort. So, okay, got it, got it, got it. Faces. Good. Yes, faces. Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. Super. This is the most pleasant sounding podcast you would have ever done. Yeah. Good observation. Very nice. Yeah. So, this so after is, that, huh. like we all know that. So this like was your. Faces. This was your set at that very first time. I still do it. Yeah, and you got a good response. Yeah, I was called Jim Gia for a very long time. Jim Gia. Oh, sounds like Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> that was Good my pairing. nickname oh. for a very long time. Okay. Okay, now let's quickly fast forward and get into your careers right now. What is happening? Let's find out. So you, uh, Jia, since we're talking to you and you need more footage here, uh, you do comedy shows all over the city. You also produce shows. So tell us about that. Um, so I produce uh, shows all over. In Malad, I have a room. I had a room in Bandra. Now I don't. I have a room in Lower Parel. This sounds very vulgar. Huh? It does. <laughs> I'm Jia. I have a room in Bandra. I have a room in Malad. It's by the hour as it's well. It's by the hour. You oh, get only five in, minutes per in, person. Indian men, so five minutes per person. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, yes. You have to pay 300 rupees to sign up. So, what do this. I do with the extra two minutes? <laughs> wow, well done. Hey, Bonia, Bonia well done. Do me accent. Do me accent now. I love the honesty in this room. <laughs> 
Uh. I thought he'll have three minutes left, not two. Oh. Listen, Jia, <laughs> we we close with not that. Close. Okay, sorry, no, sorry. Okay, that's fine. fine. Don't worry. No, like I said, I'm, alpha female, so does it oh, water off my back? Okay, doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, then. And so um, now, <laughs> um, and I'm kind of one of those strict people. No, I, again, I want to understand when you say producer, that's when you're not performing, right? So how? So you? I mean, I can perform if I want to. I can do no, whatever. But, but principally, right? you're like the boss who's yes. organizing it. So yes. you you get the money or you put in your own money. How does it work? Yeah, sort of. I mean, if no one comes, then there's no money. But uh, so only if, gate. You live on gate. Yes. In fact, I do share also. I give so to for, the venue. So for young well. comedians coming up, just uh, let us understand the concept here. When you produce a show, if it's not successful, you lose money straight away. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Nobody wins. No, in comedy, in in producing events, you cannot make money. What are you saying? Yeah, I mean, because you're spending everything on making the show look so great. If nobody shows up, then what's the point, right? But I have a lot of properties. Okay, so first you get a five minute to start with. Right. After that, you climb up and get seven minutes. Right. Then you get eleven minutes. Oh, it's like a graph. Then you get twenty minutes. Then you get thirty minutes. Then you do your one hour. Hmm. What do the men do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, excellent, excellent. Let's go back to Punya. She's feeling left out. Either way, this is what helps the scene grow. Is what I'd say. It's it's no, not entirely about the money. It helps the scene airports, grow. See, you know, I know it happens to you guys. People come and say, you know, I want to be comedian. I want to be jo- whatever. And one doesn't know where to start because it's not really that streamlined. And this you can is a te- great starting uh, platform. So, it's, it's so when you say you branch out to be producer as well, I'm just trying to understand. Do you make money? Uh, it's respect. not about the money. Actually, it isn't. It's more also, promoting. remember rich parents. Rich parents. You're towny, towny, no? Yeah, yeah. Kolaba. Kola- oh, there you go. So we are not, uh, we are cousins. In the yeah. Song. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I live in the same building as. Uh, Ratan Tata. I, yeah. How do you know? Oh my God. How but uh, Ratan Tata is a very frugal eater. Let me tell you. It's very little. So what I'm saying is, there's not much expense in spite of having that great house. How do we know? Because your best friend mentions it like he's Ratan Tata's right hand oh. man. <laughs> I was surprised No one name drops More than Naveen I was just like What Ratan. a guess He doesn't say Ratan Tata Ratan is, is very true, close though. to Jia It is true It's like it all first true. names Yeah Ratan has yeah. two uh, Swimming pools and stuff In his One for his dogs Yeah Which that, is that, what I'm jealous of I, I That's the part I love about him The dogs at uh, The Tata house also Are never touched Yeah you Dare disrespect them That's a great thing That's a wonderful concept Don't get me started The gym was bad enough But the dogs <laughs> You'd leave alone <laughs> Punya Yes. Tell us about your career You're Okay, this underwater photography is still going on, is it? Yes And apparently you're very uh, famous and well known in this business Why underwater photography only? She like to wear swimming costumes it's Just did, Actually, did I have to, I'm fully covered I'm going to dive suit Did you like my creepy voice when I said that? <laughs> 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 very 1950 ka actor eh, Swimming costume <laughs> Forget 1950 actor, 1950 ka look <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Underwater photography Give us an insight into that world um, it pays a lot more than photography on land. So what kind of stuff do you get to do? Do you go deep into the marine life and get to see... So I'm also a diver, but I don't shoot like underwater. a qualified diver, though. Yes. Those things that you have to yes. qualify. Certified diver, Certified, yes. Certified, sorry. But I don't shoot marine life underwater. I shoot people underwater. So I'm mainly shooting in swimming pools and so things like that. So that's like ad films? Engagements? Not ad films. I'm talking about still photography. But so why would they fashion. want to be shot in swimming pools? Because there are people with a lot of money and they don't know where to spend it and it looks really nice. With Indian male stomach hanging out of his costume. No, it's And you not go below models, that. Models, models. <laughs> oh, models. Models. Local Let's, wala models. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60 year old men trying to be 30. With very tight abs Are you talking about yourself? <laughs> Something like that I feel no pain Are we allowed to say all this Naveen? Yeah. Of course Naveen doesn't care He's giving me permission I'll say anything Naveen's lost interest in the show This is like more than 40 <laughs> minutes He doesn't last Indian man You were saying It's models Who look good And no satisfying So it's cannot. like a proper photography thing Where it you is, shoot these models is. And you get paid But are you never interested in going I, I would think the more glamour part Would be going to Lakshwadeep Or Andamans Or going deep into the I do I do that But I do that well, Have you ever shot like a shark Or something No But I exotic? dive But I don't shoot alone? I like to keep it separate A, a lone shark at least <laughs> <laughs> Not even that far <laughs> Jellyfish Goldfish <laughs> Not even a goldfish Nemo Nemo Nemo, Nemo. Nemo. We're finding Nemo That's I have found right. Nemo But even not taking Nemo. pictures of him Okay now before we go to the AMAs uh, Tell us about women in comedy Just quickly I want to talk about that for we two minutes We are two we, women in no, comedy as in, and there are So a lot of the ladies Lady comics who've come here Female comics who've come here Have said that It's very male dominated And you know They really push for space And it seems You know Is that true? It is a male dominated field In the sense that There are more guys than girls And at one and point And the market seems to demand More guys than girls It's almost like skewed I mean I think That is changing now It's not about being skewed I think that's changing now But there was a time When there were very very few women I think one or two And now I think that's changing There are a lot more women now 70. But still 
I want to know uh, do they do is there is there like a oh, there is double question, standards right, that's which is basically if you do dirty jokes or you know pornographic language and that kind of profanity and all that uh, do they get do the men feel uncomfortable as against when men do it yeah we say period and a guy was like oh my god why is she talking about blood yeah but if sorapan said period he would be okay i guess So I just want to know because I, this is the kind of feedback I've got. Because the thing people. is, Aurapanthas, I mean, men hmm. do not have an experience of periods, right? I have. So really, ah, oh, you poor thing. But I feel bad. Was it crampy? It was very was watery. It clotty. Took five days. <laughs> Did it? I think we're going digressing. Oh. Five, uh, days? five days. Even now, at your age. Yes. There's no sign of menopause. <laughs> Taking no that vulgarity sign. bit a bit seriously. My estrogen levels are going through the roof, ladies. No. So the I thing is, I have no is, idea what's going on. Women. Okay. So for example, if I talk about digging my nose while a joke, it's That's not what? looked nicely as opposed to a guy doing. That's what I'm saying. That's you have to literally risk. still be a lady on stage. Exactly. You do, but you can say a lot of things and still get away with it. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's up to you as a moral human. being whether you want to be what you want to say is up to you right them judging you shouldn't give a f- for and is the audience generally more male than female um yeah you not always but I'll the thing see. is when there are women even though there are men in the audience they sometimes hold back to laugh and enjoy themselves but if there's a bunch of girls they will not because they don't have to behave a certain way because there's men around women always behave a certain way when there's a man around right who is it yeah we try sexual to sexual dynamics i'm learning different things every day <laughs> a little as navin blows his nose <laughs> although i think as the comedy industry is evolving the audiences as well i mean we yeah, are yeah, yeah. seeing Yeah, because I was thinking in Europe or the West, you wouldn't have that much of a problem. You know, the uh, woman would identify herself as a woman and say what she wants, and the audience will accept but it. But even here, but here, women are doing that. It's but, not but, like that. No, not. I'm talking about your group of the audience. Is the audience sexist? Is are we an MCP audience? That's all I'm asking. I think in India we generally have uh, an audience. I mean, who I've wants seen a couple of shows where girls have performed. I've seen the men get a little shy. You know, they almost like, oh God, the uncomfortable, the discomfort, where they would have lapped it up if it was an ugly Indian man screaming and shouting on stage. Again, it's. Coming across something new and taking some time to adjust and get used You're to it. You're just being so nice. Think... Men suck. Let's face it. Indian men suck. We all hate. I them. wouldn't say They're that. They're not Indian. But... Just not Indian men. Every man in oh, the world, I... all white, black. Fa- I would. Jamaican I mean, men are fine. I, mean, I wouldn't say that entirely. You haven't but... met Chris Gale. He's lovely. Okay. Listen, we have to do the AMAs. Uh, thank you. Let's quickly talk about Jia and Punya. Both are. Comic improvisers and performers. I am not an improviser. Also, Only stand-up improviser. comedian and photographer. Only stand-up comedian and photographer. Read the what I've written, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> What is the research you've done? Yeah, that's right. why. I'm and I'm so lazy, Punya. It's right it's here. Five lines, and it's two inches away from my it's face. Age, age, age. I tell you, can't remember anything. Okay, but before we go to the AMAs, anything you want to say about uh, comedy or anything about What yourself, any project? I'll, I'll come to that. <laughs> Basically, Amma in the South, but we'll come to that. Um, anything coming up? Seventh March, I'm producing a show called Femme Palooza at NCPA, which is an all women's show for women by women. Ah, Women's Day. Yes. Viv Richards' birthday also. Who's? Viv Richards, the cricketer. Okay, great. <laughs> Shh. Women's Day as well. Yeah, correct, correct. Both so important for me. Eighth is Women's eighth. Day, but we're doing it on seventh. Seventh is Viv Richards' birthday. Then, 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 then. And so only women are allowed to come and watch it, and Why? only yeah, no. That's we, sexist. No, we ask, I am. What about really the sexist. men who are battered by women? The small fringe. What about us? You won't be allowed. Hmm? You. What about me, Rahul you Gandhi, and a couple come. of others? No, Let us come. No, no. But uh, so there's only Imagine, women. Imagine it's all women. It's my dream uh, show. It I don't is. know. Don't care what's on now. Yeah, Damn it. that's true. All right. Um, seventh of March at NCPA. Seventh of March, and that's Jia. Yes. Okay, Punya. Anything later? She's with me. I am on. Oh, you're on. Both be on that show as well. Seventh of March at. NCPA. NCPA, you cannot miss it. It's a Women's Day sort of tribute comedy night, and it's worth uh, going for. for only wi- women. Only women uh, of all ages, from yeah, four yeah. to six hundred. Yeah, yeah. Last time there were seventy-year-olds. Uh, also, a bunch of seventy-year-olds came for the show. It was epic. And you had to go close and do the whole show. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> as we go, <laughs> louder. as we go to the AMAs, thank you so much, Jia and Punya. But stay now because now we have the challenging questions to deal with together. 
Okay, it's called the AMAs. Ask me anything, and we have some strange people who write to us. Hi, I'm Amit Verma, the host of the weekly podcast, The Seen and the Unseen. In my show, I examine the seen effects and the unintended consequences of public policy and private action. I show how policies meant to help the poor often end up hurting the poor. I've done episodes so far on demonetization, GST, surgical strikes, immigration, and MRP, and I will continue my forensic assault on the truth in the weeks to come. Catch the show every Monday on the IVM Podcast app or any other podcasting app that you prefer, or visit SeenUnseen dot in for all the latest updates. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. All right, AMA time with me is our new anchor for the evening, which is uh, Naveen. Insists on being in you know, cowing footage for some reason, uh, and he's going to interview all of us through the AMAs. Go on. I'm just here for diversity because there's two women, one gay guy, one heterosexual, so we all feel like that's your diversity. <laughs> yeah, we all feel like each. What about the Parsis? <laughs> You're here, aren't you a Parsi? Yeah, but can't it represent everything. One of them one is here, the other one somewhere else. <laughs> I'm representing Dude, the women. There's one Parsi in the room. That's a big deal. Exactly, exactly. Shoot. That's standing ovation. Twenty-five percent. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Come on! Full can't. It's like extinction. Punya is getting bored. She's flipping to Malayalam. Okay, how is Cyrus middle class when he lives in Malabar Hill? P.S. I live in Bandup. Ayush. Okay, I'll explain. <laughs> You're what middle class? Ayush. Ayush, See, Ayush lives in Bandup. I live in Bhayan. There's a difference. Middle class. There, there, there are just three classes in India. There's the super rich who get away with anything, like the top builders, politicians, and Jia, yeah. and uh, film stars. And then I'm there's the real thing. poor who are supposed to be struggling and having bad lives, but everything That's is done for them. Like Naveen, yeah. and then there's the rest of us who pay taxes, stuck in traffic, have to sit through a bad infrastructure, get nothing for our taxes, and still have to pay more taxes which you don't understand. So we're all middle class, except for those two fringes on top and bottom. That's it's too true. many people actually in the middle. You don't try to understand. But that's what like in the middle. Like, but that thing. always happens, right? The rich get richer, the poor no. remain poor, and the, the rich middle are untouchable. Are not even known. But so, we suffer. So all the rules are for you. Do you understand? Do what, they they hate what you. and I do. Basically, they become hate friends. All of us. If yeah. the rich and poor people become friends, they, they the hate can all of us. with the rich guys. No, no, you're talking rubbish. The poor are fine. Everything is done for the poor. Subsidy, subsidy. This, that, this, that. Free food, free this. Poor get everything. The middle class get nothing. Fight for the middle class. Fight for the middle class. Middle class. We must unite. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We will fight the oppressors together, and I will do it in a German accent the next time. Yeah, uh, they all on. come together in a traffic and we'll shut up stuck. and do the next one. It's like a bad are these, echo. Are these real questions? Yeah. Or are they what do you mean real? real? No, I mean have like, real are, people ask this, or did yeah. you make no, no, them? No, no. I, I get this question. For Hindustan Times, I get this all the time from people saying, oh, "Do they write real questions? What does that mean?" Yeah, I mean, how do I know? You make them you up? Make we don't make them up, up but they come you? in. But I don't know if they're real. I'm glad you all think Cyrus <laughs> creative enough to come up with questions like these. But no. <laughs> or more important, active enough. <laughs> <laughs> active. Right, enough, next one yeah. is a little long, so just bear with me. Oh God! Oh, wow, you <laughs> just wanted <laughs> to say <laughs> that. <laughs> Look at your face. You just wanted to say that. He took yeah. the longer Let one, so he no gets more for No more double and under. This woman is very vulgar. I can't have her on my show. Please go. You announced vulgarity. I am against. Alright, cool. I'm with the president. Government. Can I start a question? No. <laughs> I feel that people take uh, not being born in a starving African nation for granted. The amount of cake that is wasted by smearing on people's face during birthday send-offs is appalling. As a food lover, I feel this problem needs to be fixed. Yeah. So I suggest from now on people start licking each other's faces. So what he's saying is we should collect all the Why cake from the faces question, you of people cream. across <laughs> India <laughs> like, and, I want to lick someone's face. and ship it. To another continent. That's what I'm getting out of. It. No, no. Basically, just the girls answer this. They've not said anything. Punya, what are you saying? Say I'm Jia. Yeah, what <laughs> 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 it's Alzheimer's acting up again. <laughs> it's the Alzheimer's. So the question started off very seriously, and then he said, "No, but he's serious so about it. Yeah. He's serious about it. He but wants to know why you waste." Paul is a, is a common questioner for us. Aniket yeah. Paul, I know him also. Yeah, yeah? yeah he usually ties open mic material on our questions. He's Ooh. got he's got very big balls. What? Nothing. <laughs> um, he's a twenty-five year old child. I would just like to say that I have never wasted cake. You've never put cake on somebody's I've face at, at, at a party. I've never wasted You've it. You've eaten it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I like how you got embarrassed at that. You oh. were like, "Oh no, why did I say I'll get it?" <laughs> I give cake away. What? I make some amazing carrot cake and I give it. I don't away. like carrot cake. Do you make cheesecake? No. Chocolate? No. Strawberry? No. I can't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. 
But the best is like what we do is we get two cakes. It's one. always about you, Naveen. We've been talking. Ask here. me anything for everybody. It's open for everybody. Why okay, can't say I it, ask, say it, answer say the question? Let me not be what a bully. What is the racism towards Bahindu people? What is this? Ah, it's not because I'm of your Bahindu. It's because of your face. <laughs> no, it's Bahindu. <laughs> 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 Let me be very clear. <laughs> you know what? Like this bolo, drinking bolo. game from last time. We should bring ah. it back now. Okay. <laughs> so since you're an ardent Beatles fan, Cyrus, what do you think about Team Impala? Rohan asks. Do you even know what Team Impala is? Team Impala. Team Team. <laughs> team Impala. Nobody like, knows. Explain. Team Impala is a band. That's how do I explain that? How do I like? Bus, Impala a band. is an animal. It's a yeah. deer. Yeah. I've I've actually touched one. I think that answer. That's a good question. Very Please weird. Very weird. I touched one. This. So I thought he's talking about. Well, I, would, I think that answered Impala. the question. That's yeah, all yeah. I'll say. Yeah. So he would <laughs> touch a Team Impala. He tried to tame an Impala. Know. It didn't work. It's <laughs> pretty much. Uh, last question. Okay, what do you think of the traffic that is caused due to metro construction across Mumbai? Ayush again asks. There will be many deaths because of this, <laughs> and I have spoken to engineers in Calcutta and Delhi, and everybody told me the truth, which is they say five years and it takes nine, hmm. and, in, and in Mumbai because of the sea, it's going to take twelve. So your children are going to still be stuck in that traffic. Punya, your children. Even yeah. your children. She's in Bangalore. My children already old. Yeah, no, no, your children. <laughs> children. You already have the problem. I mean, Bangalore. Live? I live in Bangalore. Oh, you don't live here? No. What did you tell me in that at the beginning? We spoke you, about that for the longest time. She was born did. in Bangalore, study there. But you made me there. talk in Kalda. So you don't even live here? No, I've just I'd come, I've come to Bombay to do a I couple like of Bangalore shows. I like Bangalore girls, huh? I'm quite sure. <laughs> I must say, I've got a little thing. You're going to be Bangalore. You're going to be the podcast. Huh? Ajia, for the Bangalore. Huh? Mm. Mm-hmm. Achia. All right. Bangkok should be better than I guess. It's a nice place. Why? Why because, would you say that? Because Highland is lovely. Do you want to play the guy song? who goes for massages and all? Yes, Come on. Yes. Do you like that creepy uncle next yes. door, the Mr. Sharma? Yes. Hey, beta, 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 how are you? I'm yes. Not, I'm, uh, <laughs> Why are you asking you? me I'm these the guy questions. who lives above Mr. Sharma. No, but I only came to Bombay to do a couple of shows. That's all. Really? Yes. And you'll never come back again? God bless. Be all right. Soon. Cheers. Punya, Jia, thank you for being on the show and for being very sporting and... Uh, uh, who are you? Naveen. Naveen, thank yeah. you so much for joining <laughs> us on EMAs as well. Thanks. And we'll see them in comedy stores and comedy shows across the country. Jia and Punya and Naveen. Thank you very much for having us, Cyrus. This was a lot of life. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm thanking you also. Hey, man, the accent is different. It's turned into a creepy uncle. Oh, this is Mr. Sharma. Vita, <laughs> <laughs> come on my lap. Come on my lap. No, bless this stop it. Come on my lap. Yeah, that's yeah, you know, disgusting. You know, when the small kids are walking, there's these uncles who go like, better come, 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 and they hit their thigh. Yeah. I always find it a little creepy. Oh, Twitter rage is going to start. Huh? <laughs> okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called me. And that's what Cyrus says. There she stands, a podcast addict. Outside the bank, having travelled several miles to get in with other poor souls like her, the journey, though daunting for this youngling, will have some comfort because she has downloaded her favourite podcast. You can see more of her species on ivmpodcasts.com. Your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.